To another episode of Rising Road with yours truly, the Hermit Dude. Today we got to do ourselves a little bit of work here on the exterior of this house. Now, I wanted to pull out my mining drill for today, but I've looked all over the place for it. I can't find it, and I'm a little hesitant on bringing my horse over to the other side of this thing over here. Uh, so I guess the first thing we're going to be doing for today is building a darn mining drill. I, I can't believe it. Do I even have all the material for this thing over here? It's like my mining drill just up and disappeared. I don't know where it is. We need aluminum. Not aluminum. Aluminum. We need tungsten. We need copper. We need iron. And we need gold. Uh, so let's start with this aluminum rods. All right. We need 32 of those things. So let me think here. Do we have any aluminum over here with us? Yeah, we got some. Alright, let's go ahead, get our aluminum rods going. I think we only need four of these plates. Aluminum plates. One, two, three, four. Alright. And we'll turn that into aluminum rods. We'll hit max. Aha. Alright, so we need four more from the looks of things. Alright. Let's do, let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Bada bing, bada boom. Aluminum rods. Max. There you go, so that'll give us our 32. Let's go ahead and put this thing away right here. I can't believe my, my mining drill is just gone. I've looked everywhere for it. And it just seemed to have disappeared. Um, we need some tungsten rods. All right, so we need eight tungsten. I should have some over here. Yes, we do. All right, um, I'm probably going to need one more. There you go. All right, let's get ourselves eight tungsten rods. Well, tungsten plates. We'll do max on that. We'll do tungsten rods. There we go. Let's get ourselves a good chunk of those. Hit max. There we go. 32 of them. And close that up. Let's grab our copper rods. 32 of them. Do, 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 do. Oh, hush up. Copper rods. Oh, that's right. We need our copper plates first. Alright, we need one, two, three, four. And before I do this, is that copper rods? Yep. I hit max, dang it. Thank you. Alright, let's put the rest of this copper away and see what else we need for this thing. I mean, I looked everywhere. I can't seem to find this thing anywhere, guys. It's just driving me nuts. And wrong thing again. All right. 32 iron plates and 16 gold. No problem there. No problem there. All right. So let's grab ourselves some gold. Bada bang, bada boom. Like so. We need iron. Grab ourselves a nice good stack of that right there. Wait. Is that even enough? Now it is. Alright, so let's see here. 32 iron and 16 gold. Alright. Let's start with the gold plates. We need 16 of those. We're missing two. And iron plates, we need... 16 of them, right? Or is that 32? Nope, we need a 32 of those. And we're missing two gold. We're going to have to run over the hill. Alright, that's okay, that's okay. Um, iron plates, give me two. We got gold for days, guys. We got ores and gold for days, so don't bother me too much. Um, let's just go right on ahead, shove this inside of here, like that. Mm -hmm. Alright, horsey, you're going to have to stay here. Guys, I'm going to pause and meet you over there. Ah, been a while since we've been over here been a long time since we've been over here i know my smithy is chilling right down there all right and here's wilbur he's still chilling over here at least he stayed here you know what hey wilbur you've been here since the beginning buddy you've been here since the beginning thank you for hanging out little porkster all 
All right, Anvil should be back here. Along with some gold, wherever we got that at. All right, we need two gold. And we got that right here. Let's go ahead, get our gold plates. And let's make this miner drill again. Hopefully this thing, I know I just have 32 iron plates. Where did they all go to? Did I make iron rods? Huh. Not sure. Alright, that's okay. We got this. You know what? Just in case this ever pops up again. Let's just take a full stack of this. And we're just going to go iron plates, max, bada bang, bada boom. Alright, just in case that ever happens again. And craft this bad boy right on up. There we go. There's my mining drill. We'll go ahead and shove these iron plates back inside of here. I wanted this because I actually wanted to show you guys how I'm going to get rid of my house. Because I can't figure out how to delete it. And I got a bunch of houses on one side of the road. And I was planning on a montage and just destroying the things today. But, yeah, things happen. Alright, let's get out of here. At least I got my miner drill again. That's the important thing. Get up this hill. There we go. Up and over this way. And by the way, guys, when we first started this game, this gorge, this thing right here, this entire thing, I know it isn't rendering in proper right now, but this entire thing, it was nothing. It was literally just a pit in the ground. And we turned it into this. We still have to cover the entire mountain range with, with blocks. All right. And what we're going to do with the blocks is we're going to convert it all into one massive fortress. And then we'll start doing some customizations on the exterior while we mine away the inside and destroy the entire mountain range. There won't be a mountain range here one day. Really, there won't. <laughs> but I just logged in today and noticed that my mining drill was missing. And I was like, no, no, where'd it go? So I ran around. I was up inside of here. I ran all the way over where our other stuff is. I checked the crafting hall. I checked every single chest I could find. Did I... Ah, there you go. I'm munching on some cherries. That cherry tree has been here for some time now. Get some water. There you go. Let's get going. Let's get going. Let's get going. Mm -hmm. This is fun. Ah, ouch. Okay. Um, careful where you jump. <laughs> Our snake is still chilling out over here, but that's fine. All right. Let's pull this out of the way here. And now, as far as the wood for the porch. Don't you bother me, Mr. Snake. I ain't bothering you. As far as the porch goes for the back. Uh, this front one, we're, we're going to take care of. The front one, we're going to take care of. But this one back here, this is the one that we need to take care of. So let me go get some blocks and stuff and things together, guys. Well, I guess I can, wor I guess I can work some of that stuff in with, with you guys. I guess I can. I guess I can. All right. So... We got our block bench, yeah. But what I like to look at inside of here sometimes, guys, is just a random uh, stuff that we could use to build with. Uh, that's not it. All right, let's see here. We got wood logs, we got wood beams. What I want to do is I want to use the wood beams for this one. And let's stop that thing from spinning. Let's go ahead, we could go up here. Let's take a look at this. We need something a little bit dark, something to contrast the house on the exterior nothing too dark like this but it's something that would say hey i belong you know so let's see here what do we got we got this one that we we use for lumber okay this is the one we use for our two by fours all over the place so i don't want to use those on the porch uh, this thing that's a little bit too bright and it looks like it will caught It'll just stick out like a sore thumb. Um, no, that looks like it belongs in a living room. 
that's corkboard. Maybe this one. What is that? Number 89. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Number 89. Grab ourselves a couple stacks of logs. You know what, guys? We got wood for days. It's not just this wood over here. We got wood chilling all the way over at the other place. Let me make some stuff and things up, guys. I'll be back. All right, guys. I got some stuff and things made up here. Um, mainly just plank beams. I don't want to use these uh, other stuff and things like that for this right here. Because on the back side of the porch, we use the uh, other thing. You know what I need to look at? I didn't even think about. Is the pass. Okay. So these are some stuff. Set P100 arrow up. Three times to set the position of planks. Set R3 for rotation. Alright. We might need that just for the roof. But for this back here. Alright. Now. I think I got my headlamp on. No, I don't got my headlamp on. Let's put that thing on. There we goes. It looks like I can't tell if it's getting dark or what it is. All right, so right about here, I want to bring this porch out to maybe about uh, about centerish. There we go. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring this. Now, I want to take this and I want to add slats to it pretty much. And the reason I want to add slats to it is so that I could add something else onto it. You know, kind of like a floor of sorts. So we're going to bring this thing to about here because it's about even with the bottom window. And from over on this side. Huh. You know what? I think we just messed up. Please don't tear the whole thing out. Nope, it doesn't. It just tears out just a section. <sighs> just a section that we needed. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, 2, G, bring that thing up. And let's start from the middle on this thing this time. There we go. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. All right, I do want to step down, I guess. All right, so let's bring this thing across this time. And that looks about even for down below. Nice. All right, now I need this same exact slat length over here on this side. Let's see here. Can we get that in place? All right. And we'll bring this one over to about here that way it's underneath this window right over here on this side <coughs> now we're going to need a floor for this but i also need to be able to take these slats and put them up top here so <coughs> all right so how i want to do this top piece is i want to uh bring up set r1 i uh, know maybe i did that wrong all right skip that skip that skip that for a moment skip that for a moment let's go take a look at this yeah i know it's a bit dark outside but let's see here set r3 all right let's try that again All right, set, rotation. Are you kidding me? All right, set position one. No, set rotation. All right, give me a moment. Alright guys, since I got you guys with me, 
I'm gonna do this this way. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up our console. We're gonna hit set R three and rotate a pre precision set to 3.1 degree. All right, let's go ahead and hit that. Now what that does is if I hit this thing right here, it'll give me more control over the pitch of a roof or a block or anything like that and that's kind of like what I wanted to do so let's go ahead back here on the back side of the house where this thing is and let's try to first off bring up our grid and you know what I'm gonna do first off now you can see there's more points and rip rotating than there is anything else all right, so what I want to do is I want to take this thing. I want to increase it the entire length first off. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to let me know where the highest pitch on this roof is. All right, from the beginning to the end. So, all right, let's go ahead and we'll place one right over here on this side. Yeah, it's going to be in the way of the window just temporarily. It's not going to be permanent. It's just there just temporarily. So we have it as a uh, template. Okay. So um, let me just go ahead and hold this down here just a little bit. Now we want the rain to come off of this thing. If you know what I mean. Right. So when we come up with this thing. And we have the grid turned on. It should all right, if I hit control for a moment, can I move that? No. All right, let's turn that grid off. And let's see if we can get this thing in there precise. All right, we got it. Turn the grid on and let's bring it the whole way over. There we go. So we got our slats for the roof. Now we can come over here. We can yoink this thing out right here. Now, right now, it's not being supported. That is perfectly okay. I am fine with it. We will be working with that in just a moment. So what we have right now is we have this roof. It comes down at an angle. It gives a little bit of an overhang over where the floor is going to be. Um, we could also take these beams and we could hop up underneath this. So if we, let's see here, let's hit F2. Not F, yeah, let's just hit F2 for right here. All right, so I wanna do now is I want to be able to set these things at an angle to where it looks like they're being supported but yet i don't have the beams sitting in my house so i want to do is i want to first off i'm going to shrink this thing And you can see right there, it does look like it's in. It's perfectly lined up. I'm going to place another one of these things down here on the edge. We're going to use this thing to make sure that it's in place and not out. Because sometimes that grid doesn't exactly work. There you go. And now I want to place one more, maybe about right here. All right, so let's look up and make sure this thing is in place. There you go. So now we got our three. Now, these things need to be braced as well. Okay, so I'm going to switch this thing around like so. And we're going to straighten it out. So let's bring this thing down here and make sure it is nice and straight. We could also hit the backspace to uh, bring it back to its original rotation. <laughs> All 
then just bring it down here to the ground and you, again we're just going to use the arrow buttons to straighten it out now i'm going to come up underneath this like so and i'm going to give it an edge right about let's see here does that look about right all right we're going to hold the shift button and we're going to get bring us across let's bring us over let's see if we could do that same exact thing over here again we're just going to use the zoom button Make sure everything is in place and it looks nice and purdy. All right, there he goes. Now, I'm going to pause this, guys. I'm going to go take myself a little bit of a nap to hopefully get rid of this rain. We can even look up there and you can see it is in place. It looks relatively... Uh, no, it's not. All right. I'm going to hit F2. I'm going to go up here and yoink this one out. In this weather, I tell you. Alright, that looks about right. That looks a little bit better. Well, it looks like it's daylight. We just got to clear the weather. Let's do this together. All right, so if you're ever having trouble with the weather, guys, you've probably seen me use this a couple of times. Type in weather, and you could hit sunny. No, I'm sorry. There you go. And just give it a moment for the rain to uh, leave. You could change it to fog, you could change it to rain. You can make it do whatever it wants, but right now it's putting a lot of stress on my GPU and I need it to slow down. All right, now, we need a block for a floor and then we gotta add some support for these ones up here. So let me go pick out what I wanna use and I'll be back. Hi right, guys, I got this really nice wooden texture. I think this is the same exact stuff that we got chilling right here on the front side of the house. Let's go ahead and place that down. Yes, that does look roughly about the same. So that should work. All right, let's go ahead and snag this back up. And let's head over here to the porch. And let's get our uh, flooring put in here first. Because I want this in before I do anything else. Alright, so let's get up here. I mean, I don't want people coming up here and falling through the floor, if you know what I mean. We don't want that, no. We don't want people falling through the floor. Again, you can see how the rotation has been affected. But we also need to make sure that it's level kind of like that now i'm going to go ahead and bring this in the whole way across we are going to hit zoom to get in over on this side you can see how it's not quite the way we would expect here we go it's even that's the important part but yet it comes to the edge and it sticks over that's okay it's okay if it sticks over just a little bit okay just to, even just a little bit of a lip is perfectly okay so let's go ahead and give that a little bit more of a lip so it does the same exact thing over here now let's bring that in there we go and let's bring it across Oh, we messed up on that one. That's okay. Now you can see how it's got these nice wooden 
slats going straight through the middle of it now. We can bring it over. And yet it still has that same lip. There we go. So we actually got ourselves a nice good floor going in over here now. Nice. So we can actually start to put a railing in on this. And we got to do something about this ceiling. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these things out. Same exact way as I did up top. And I'm going to straighten it out. You know what? We can always just hit backspace for this. <laughs> All right. Hit that zoom button. All right. Bring up that grid and hit that zoom button. Might have to move in just a wee little bit. Alright, now I'm going to hold down the left click and I'm going to move out. Because I want to see where this stands. Not exactly even. Alright, let's try to get this again. We're going to go ahead and place one inside. And it does need to go up higher. So, if you can see, if I place one of these right here, does it attach with the top? Yes, it does. However, maybe I want to do something a little bit differently this time. Maybe I don't want to use these. Okay, maybe I don't want to use these. Maybe I want to use a log on the corner. Now, this is a little bit tempting fate because it's a modern build. And adding logs on it might... Um, yeah, it might not. Maybe I don't want to use a log on that. However, I still, I still need to uh, get this put it in all right so let me go ahead let me get these things put in guys and i will be right back all right guys i didn't quite get this in yet but i want to do something a little bit different all right what we're going to do is we're going to use the same exact width to build a banister okay now we don't want this banister to be too short but i need a way to uh kind of separate it off if you know what I mean that way I know where this one over here belongs but also this thing seems to be a bit thick doesn't it let's try to fix that I'm gonna hold the shift button and shrink it twice that way I can get it just perfect right here in the center it's exactly two blocks away and as we bring this across, it looks like we're going to need a little bit more. Let's take it to here. And now we're going to try to use the same exact thing that I was just doing. One, all right, one, two, three. All right, I'm going to bring it to here. And I'm going to increase it the entire height. I'll drop it down by four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to step back. Move away from this for just a moment. It looks like it needs to come down by two spots. Alright, so let's get into place. Remember that exact same spot where it is right now. And place it. Now that should be perfectly aligned up with this. It's lined up with that one over there. And yes, I can see that our character needs some food. 
Let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. <laughs> Munch on some apples. F2 our way down here, drink some water, and that instant heals you. Whenever you drink water from a source, you don't have to worry so much about any. You don't have to worry about drinking it maybe once or twice. So long as this bar right down here on the right hand corner turns into a bright green, you should be perfectly fine. Now, let's get this banister done. And then we'll do the roof together. Let's first off, let's come all the way down here. And let's shrink this to the appropriate size. All right. Looks about right. I'm going to hit that grid. And as you can see, it's going that way. It's going to the left. It's I mean, it's going forward instead of left and right like we wanted to do right now. That is because the rotation of the surface of the block is different. What we need to do is just use the arrow key only and that should move this rotation of the block completely around like so now we're going to hit that grid bring it right back up and let's drag this thing whoop wait a second wait a second i think we brought it one too many times there we go let's try that again Aha! There you go. Now, if we bring it one more time, it'll integrate with the wall panel, and I don't want it to do that. Instead, I just want it to come across like this. Because this is a back porch for the bedroom, and it's just more or less a place to relax. You know, a lovely couple, they just come up here to the porch, and they just want to come outside and relax. And that seems to be really good. Now, I did bring this wall panel outside, and the reason I brought this panel outside is because I want to use it for, like, a banister top. So, let's see if we can bring this in, and let's test it. Is it the right length? No, it needs to become, it needs to come out by one more, at least. Okay, so let's try this again. We're going to bring it to the top. I want to make sure it's straight, so I'm going to hit the grid button. We're going to do forward by two. And it looks good. Now this same exact length should work over here. Provided we can get it in here right. There we go. Perfectly centered. Looks nice. But now we need to go from left to right. Well, we're not exactly going to be able to do that, now are we? Yes, we can. What we're using right now is we're using the arrow keys for this. And as you can see, it ends up perfectly in line with it every single time. It's not all over the place. And we could use the zoom button, which is a Z, to actually make sure it's perfectly in line. And it looks good. So let's hop down onto this porch, shall we? Or let's start from inside the bedroom. Yes, the ceiling needs replaced. We had some problems. The roof was sitting outside, and we didn't want that, so we have to fix that. Now, if we walk outside these doors, ah, nice place to relax from the bedroom. You could come out here, place a chair or two, kick back and relax. We'll put some fencing going around the yard at one point. I mean, I still got to fix the road. I mean, right now it's just a little bit bumpy. It's a little bit out of place. It does, it's not exactly smooth, but we'll get to it. I'm thinking I want to bring this yard. You see this divot that comes across right here? I'm thinking I want to bring the yard back to about there. Bring it across straight up to the front. 
with maybe a white picket fence. And maybe inside the backyard we put some vegetation, some ferns, some kind, all kinds of cool stuff. But we're still missing the roof. Let's go fix that. Now this block we are more than likely going to have to spawn in. Because the roof is a little bit well... Shall we say? It's not the best in the world right now. I'm sorry. It sounded like my horse took a poop. Unless it was me. Do we have to check our drawers? Eh, let's not say we did. <laughs> Alright. Now, let's head over here to the asphalt. This asphalt right here seems to be the number one thing. We use it for the roads. We use it for roofing. And the reason we use it for the roofing, the same as the roads, is mainly because... <laughs> Yes, we hear you. The reason we use it for the roofing is because it has this really nice grainy texture to it. Okay? It looks perfect. It looks nice. It's a black roof. Sure, it's not the best in the world, but it's a little reflective and keeps the road stuff clean. We may switch out the roads to something like this. Or possibly this. You know, something to add a little bit more smoothness to it, since we're going to be using this. Now, let's go ahead and bring this up. We're going to do item, wood plank, 64, that is how many that we want, and we want to do 124. Now, that is your item ID. Hit enter. Now... Let's click on this one. This one is item 122. For this, simply all we have to do is change the number right here at the end. There we go. And the reason we just added this to us right here is so that we could have something to build with. But of course I need these things out of my hair for right now so that I can go take ourselves a brief little bit of a nap. It's getting a bit dark outside. I don't want to change the global time of the game. Because every single time you change the global time of the game, it changes the amount of time that you spent within the world itself. Ah. Ah, that's better. That's better. Way better. So... Let's go in outside. Down the stairs. All right. Yes, the doors are open inside the house. Um, we don't want the local wildlife coming inside. I do know we got these doors wide open over here. That's because we are in business right now. We're in the business. We're in the business of getting this back porch done. And so far, it looks relatively nice. I like it. I actually do. I think it looks relatively cool. You know, you can see the slats for the floor coming through. And we actually could fix that by using these. And if we bring this thing down. You know what? Hit backspace on this. We bring this a whole way down like this. Okay. I need to make sure that's straight. So we're going to... Uh... There we go. Let's go ahead and bring this thing down like so. And we're going to try to add a little bit more of effect to that thing. I want it to be more like a block. Um, Alright. And to the right and left. There we go. I want it to actually match up with the size of these right here okay so you can see how these things right here how they are pretty much the same exact size at the moment well let's hit grid on that there we go hit plus hit plus again hit plus one more time it goes all over the place now that's just how big the grid can get however we just want this thing to come across like this now, I want to make that smooth, so I'm going to hit the minus button as I do this. I'm going to come right across the bottom. 
or we could stop right here. Then we can come over here to this side and smooth it out just one more time like that. Now it's the same exact texture coming around all four sides pretty much but it's not quite the way we want it because it's not the same texture we're looking at the side of the board right well let's try to fix that if I can get over in here there we go now you can see it's not going right to left instead it's going up or it's going down maybe well, there's a way of fixing that, all right? And the way of fixing that is actually page up or page down. We're going to try page up and bring this side of the block to the surface, like that. Okay, now, let's try this again. Aha, it's too high. Too high of a pitch. There we go. Now... If we go up, or even if we go down, there's no way of telling which way that block faces, because it's, the rotation of it isn't set proper. I can't figure that part out. Let's not worry about that right now. We have a roof to put on. Aha. Alright, let's start with this one. I think so, maybe not. Um, let me hit backspace on this to bring it all the way up. And I'm going to use my arrows for this. Now, we need an underlayment for this. Let's pull this out of my hand for right now. Let's put an underlayment on this roof. Okay? Okay. To do that, I'm going to match this up, match the pitch. I'm going to use my arrow keys for it. There it goes. And as we do this, you can see that the pitch is not still correct. There it goes. I think that should be accurate. Let's hit that grid. Aha, I see what's going on. Let's go ahead and flip it. And if you're looking at this right now, you can see that it's not exactly the same. Let's turn that grid off. And you see right now it's not exactly the right length. You can see it's like off to the left, it's off to the right. We want to straighten that out as best we can. Then climb up on top of this roof like so and use up and down and this should be about right and we're just going to bring it the whole way up all the way to the edge now let's take it across. Again, making sure we hit the minus button to make sure there are no gaps. Even if it does click over the edge just a little wee bit. Now we can use this. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to shrink this one. And I'm going to widen it just a little bit. Now each time we place this, I need to, we need to make sure that it is not together like that. We're going to bring this together kind of like so. So that it adds the uh, darkness underneath it. Let's go ahead and place this first piece in. Now I'm going to hit the pitch. I need to change the pitch on this. Just one more. Each time I do this. Aha. Oops. What did I just do? Yeah. Each time I add this in, I need to make sure that I change the pitch. Okay. So we're going to take this and we're going to place it on top of this. Just a wee little bit. 
This just the way Dagalon taught us. So I'm not exactly too sure about this. Nah, you know what? Let's just do this as smooth. <laughs> Seriously, let's just do this one as smooth. Bring that grid up. If we hit up. Yeah, see, that it's not turning out the way I want to right now. Alright, fine. So, if I could stop hitting the S button and come straight across the proper way... We should be okay. Yeah. Let's first off get the first layer on this house. And then worry about the rest of it. Now for this one, I'm going to hit this down button right over here just to change the pitch a little wee bit and we're out all right let's go ahead we're gonna hit this and now whenever you do this guys we're gonna hit the arrow button to bring us back to this I'm gonna line this one up with the grid on Like that. Alright, this should pull everything out. Let's take a look at our roof. Not half bad. Not half bad. It does look pretty good. I mean, it's, it's there. Okay, it's there. If there's anything that's missing, if we come up and underneath this, there's only a couple of things that might be missing. And the only thing that I could possibly think of that would be missing is, let me see here. Alright, and hit backspace on this, and now I'm going to come across this. I want to try to inch this piece in here. Now how I'm going to do that is I'm going to bring this thing all the way down to a cube. Not that far. Alright, that is a cube. Now we're going to change the... Uh, you know what? We might not have to change the face of this. We might not have to change the face of it. Let's find out. Alright, I want to hit minus on this thing real quick so that I can find out where it's going at. Let's place this down here and let's see which way it's going. Yeah, see, it's going that way. Alright, so I'm going to switch this thing around. Because you see it was going that way, we, all we want to do is just change the uh, orientation of the cube by making sure that it's in place. And now as we come across, we can actually put a, uh, a layer right in the middle. Pretty cool, huh? We should have a little bit more of that stuff. And every and I want to come across this edge, like right where this is, and I want to make it look like there's a, as if this thing is being supported the whole way across, by not just the pitch of the house, but by everything else as well. It looks pretty good, so we have ourselves a little bit of a support right there. Now, if we wanted to, if we hit this, you can see it's going this way. So we can just go like this. Bring ourselves a wee a little bit of an angle on that right there. Just a little touch of it. And just bring her down. We'll put one right there.
one right here and one towards the end this way it looks like it's being supported and there is no gravity affected by it looks good it does it's well supported we shouldn't have any blocks showing up on the inside of the house on this side no we don't walk right back through here looks good looks good guys i like the porch it looks good it came out nicely we can probably get ourselves some screenshots though the best way of doing that is just come up here and hit hud then escape and work should be good there we goes got some screenshots of this side nice one from over here let's hit f2 climb out here and back porch looks good it doesn't interfere with the windows on either the bottom or the top and the master bedroom now has a uh, a porch <laughs> Well, guys, I ran this episode about 55, almost an hour in length. I'm going to go ahead and end this. Leave your comments. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you on the flip side. Because I think what we got to do next time is the front porch. I don't think it's going to be as wide as this right here. And along with these little micro block things that we did for stairs, it has to come out. Um, I might take this porch and wrap it around to like underneath the middle section of this window right here. It's still on debate, not sure. But I also want to leave room for a white picket fence which will go between the crafting hall and here it'll go all the way down we'll bring it down along its edge we're gonna backfill that pond by the way and the picket fence will come about to about here and we'll run it in a straight line coming across to about the roads edge and then run it down here and we could add some hedges in here all kinds of cool things. But until next time, guys, this is your friendly neighborhood, the Ark, the Hermit Hood, signing off.